a friend of mine shared a story with me where um, they had a student who went to a comp and one of the judges after the comp told her that they marked her down because she was wearing this extremely expensive high-end costume she had bought from some sort of like former national world champion. Um, but her dancing was not at that skill level. She was, you know, maybe a bronze dancer or something like this. Um, and I think this is a precautionary tale for all of us guys. Um, and especially follows because you know what? I am on the same page as you. Part of what got me into competition was that first comp I attended that I didn't compete at that one. I saw these gobsmackingly gorgeous rhinestone encrusted feather covered glamorous crazy obviously expensive gowns um and hey i want to wear one of those too <laughs> but i do agree with this assessment now i i would hope if i were judging i would not penalize a dancer for um out dressing their skill level so to speak but I can say I have been to competitions where I have seen, say, it's an NDCA comp where they do allow um, full, you know, in NDCA and USA dance rules are a little different. You're not even allowed usually to have, um, they call it lighting effects, like rhinestones, really expensive dresses um, in certain comps. But other comps, you could show out there in the full regalia and, you know, $50,000 solid rhinestone, whatever. Um, and that's not against the rules, but I have seen, um, dancers do themselves a disservice by showing up and, you know, being a bronze, silver, even newcomer level competitor. And they walk out on that floor looking like a bajillion dollar champion. Here's the problem. As soon as that music starts, I think, oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> and that's the last thing I want a judge to think when they see me start dancing. I want them to be like, hey, oh, oh, I'm gonna see more. I want, I want to, um, I'll say, amp up the volume of excitement as they're watching me dance, just like I would if I were choreographing a show dance. I don't wanna come out with a bang and then be like, <laughs> okay, guys, um, so if you are more at that beginning level stage, if you're dancing, you're still in syllabus, my suggestion would be to talk to your coach, talk to your costume designer about a skill-appropriate costume that's going to show best on you on the floor. Because I got news for you. Just because you buy a costume from a world champion does not mean you're gonna look like a world champion dancing out on that floor, guys. I know it's sad, I wish it were true. If it was, I would just tell you to go out there and drop a bajillion dollars in that costume, but it's not. You know, even if I'm competing pro-am, I am cognizant of my partner's skill level. I'm not gonna show out there like Queen Elizabeth. You know, if I'm dancing bronze with someone, I wanna show them off. I want the judges to get excited when we start dancing and be like, whoa, oh, let's see what else they're going to do. I bet it's going to get even better and not decrescendo. I'm going to walk out there with a big old bang and then fizzle out, okay? Um, and again, don't get me wrong. I love costumes. But when you are on those more um, kind of groundbreaking, foundation building, you know, part of your career, your dance career, your money, your hard-earned money is going to be best invested, in my opinion, in your coaching. And you know what, friends? If you disagree with me, I am but one dancer in the world of ballroom dancers. Um, you know, feel free to share in the comments. Or maybe you've seen, like I have in the comp, where I see someone going out there and I have these hopes for their dancing and they start dancing and I'm like, what? where'd they get that costume from? It's the first thing that comes to my mind. It's not, oh, look at that dancing. <laughs> Um, and so guys, I can tell you after 40 years in this industry, I got, I have literally bought more costumes than I can count. I cannot even tell you how many costumes I've bought. You will have years 
to buy beautiful costumes that are commensurate with your skill that are best for your dancing. And in my opinion, and I know I'm not the only one, um, it's best to go simple and elegant and skill appropriate than all out crazy um, and outclass yourself before you even start dancing. So that's my two cents on that. And again, if you disagree um, or you have your own personal costuming suggestions, hey, share in the comments. I am always interested to hear what you have to say. I never delete your comments. I appreciate a different person's opinion. Um, or even if you agree, you know, a story um, that is different, but similar to what I've seen. I think it's helpful to all of us here. We are a worldwide community of ballroom dancers. Same goals, same joy, same hurdles. And I just want us all to become the very best, most successful dancers we can be and get the most for your dance dollar investment. Okay, friends, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you first thing tomorrow morning with another ballroom dance topic. Guys, have an awesome day. Happy dancing. Bye.